on everyone this video we're gonna start straight into the training so I want to give you guys some double stick basics and we're gonna look at blocking fundamentals and I'm not too much of a fan of blocking but it is something that is probably done a little bit more in double stick than single stick so let's break this down real quick so it all kind of makes sense when we look at single stick we do something that's called an umbrella block which I'm sure most of you already know an umbrella block has two sides I have my right side here where my stick points actually to the left and then I have my left side umbrella block where my stick points to the right. And the idea is that we're trying to deflect the strike. So in this case, we're not stopping anything. We're just trying to reposition ourselves and reposition the strike. And that's something that's very common in double stick because I don't really want to cause traffic with two sticks, especially if it's two against two. That's way too many sticks in between us. I want to use my range. And of course, I want to use my Cinewali to my advantage. So before we get to the Cinewali and where it fits in, I'm going to break down kind of how we determine which kind of umbrella block we're going to do. So naturally in single stick, we have live hand and safety hand, and you can obviously tell the difference. Live hand is the one that's currently holding the stick. Safety hand is the empty hand, and that generally supports whatever task is at hand. Now when I switch to double stick, I have what we call a right hand lead or a left hand lead, because they can both be live and safety hands because the value is the same. So when I'm talking about a right hand lead, my right side umbrella block is going to be supported by my second stick. This is what we call a right side cruzada. If I go to the left side, where I use technically the left side umbrella block, this is a right hand lead gunting. Okay, so I have a cruzada on the left hand lead and a gunting on the left hand lead as well. And that's just going to help me determine which side is being prioritized. Again, we have the one that's actually doing the block and we have our secondary stick that's going to be supporting the block. And the idea is I'm trying to push this stick off mine. I'm trying to make sure that I can move my body at the same time, almost like what my safety hand would do, but a little bit more range because again, I have two sticks. So a very quick way you can practice these two blocks, if we're talking about a right hand lead, when I do my cruzada on the right hand side here, I'm going to come home, step to the left and do a right hand lead gunting. And that's going to feel very familiar to umbrella block to the right, umbrella block to the left. And what we want to focus on when we do that is pushing. You can even hit your own sticks to give you the cue that you're actually, number one, crossing, number two, deflecting. So I like to hit my sticks here and hit my stick here. So this is right hand lead cruzada, right hand lead gunting. And you can keep doing that over and over again with the female triangle step. You can also do that in left hand lead, of course. Same concept, brushing it down the stick, supporting underneath it, brushing down the stick. Okay, and very straightforward, you can add in a strike after that. Usually the cruzadas will lead to an angle one and the good things will lead to an angle two. So one more thing I wanna add on to this because uh, this is actually a lesson that we've gone over before on Anastasio Kali. It's actually another lesson that is going to be explained in a little bit more detail for this month's cycle of February. But uh, double stick is kind of complicated and we overcomplicate it because we try to make it intertwine everything we already know. It's not an excuse to just make up new techniques. We're trying to take our single stick and then make sure that we can use it a little bit more efficiently because we have two. So in pretty much every systematic approach, empty hand, single stick, single knife, we have a concept called block check counter. When I do, let's say a cruzada, I'm blocking and checking at the same time. And of course now I need to counter. So this is where I can easily throw in an angle one because generally my right side umbrella block gives me that line to slash down on, okay? But it wouldn't necessarily be double stick if I just did an angle one. I kind of just leave this one to parry. So here's where I could throw in that Cinewali. And that way I'm not just using a Cinewali and walking around like a bulldozer. I'm actually actively applying myself in double stick where I'm using a particular technique based off of a single stick concept. And then I'm plugging in my counter with something that's a little bit more familiar to our double stick training, which is something like the Cinewali. And when you guys are doing that, you can tell which side you're gonna to go to if we're just talking about the Crusada by which arm is on top. When I finish my Cinewali, I'm either gonna be in four different positions. This is one of them. 
This tells me I'm going to the right. This one tells me I'm going to the left. And that's how you can kind of put it all together here. And what I want to change, I know which side I'm going to go to because of where my hands are crossing. And I'm just plugging in again the Sinawali. Okay, so you could do plenty of different drills like with that. You could use it in the Gunting format as well. But if you guys want more detail on that, then of course I want you guys to definitely check out Anastasio Kali because it's gonna be a full detailed video broken down a lot more better than the way I just did it right now. Now on the topic of double stick Sinawali, uh, it's very important that you can Sinawali from anywhere and everywhere because the last thing you wanna do is add in three, four, five extra movements just to get back to something that's so, I don't wanna say the word basic, but it's pretty basic. It's six basic counts. Technically it's three done on both sides. So when you guys are practicing your double sticks in a while, first of all, if you guys don't know it, then you can literally learn it in three to five minutes if you watch this video. So pause, go there, come back. But if you do know how to do the double stick Sinawali, a good way to practice it as opposed to just doing it in this kind of boring state of flow, you can change that into bursts. And when you burst, really try to Sinawali, really try to hit something, give it more purpose. And you'll end up, and again, either a right hand crossed over, left hand crossed over, double chamber on the right side, double chamber on the left side. So as you guys practice that, you'll start to see different positions that you can start from, and you don't necessarily always have to be here or here. No matter what you decide to do, as long as your hands get to a familiar position, maybe one, two extra movements, you'll find yourself in one of those four places, and then boom, there's your Sinawali. I'm gonna pull up some clips as I'm kind of breaking this down. I'm gonna give you various ways you can practice. Number one, the Sinawali, and then number two, adding in that Crusada kind of concept of a block check counter. And I wanna be able to give you guys this because I know there's not a lot of teaching that I've been doing. I've been prioritizing Anastasio Kali, but you guys deserve some stuff too. So as you guys can see in this particular clip, when I'm doing the Sinawali, I'm doing it to the bag without any relative targets. And you can start to transition between your double stick Sinawali to what we call Tapi Tapi. And some of you guys know that as Heaven Six, Earth Six, Heaven and Earth Six, and all the different variations. And the idea is that I'm trying to hit that target, but I'm trying to stay within my flow. But as you guys are practicing that, give it more purpose, right? Don't just hit it and go tap, 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 because then you're just doing the exact same thing in midair with a punching bag. And you don't really need that unless you're just trying to teach yourself how it feels like to strike something. So use those bursts, kind of change up the angle, change up the timing, give yourself a little bit of a scenario, almost like your shadow boxing, so that you can give the sense of when you need to tighten up a little bit and really burst or when you can relax and kind of be standby. And then so the next clip that you're gonna see is when I added in those blaze pods. And again, these things have been a game changer for my solo training. So when it's lighting up, the first variation that I did is I just basically broke out of my Sinawali and turned that into a strike, whether it was with my right hand or my left hand. And then I changed it up a little bit and now I particularly wanted to use my supporting hand in the Crusada so that I can use that to check a particular side. And that gives me a little bit more of timing base, but it makes me emphasize to jump out of the Sinawali, which again is a super important skill because you don't want to get lost in just what's written down on paper. It's like that, especially the way I teach it, so everyone can learn it, but you want to kind of have your own flair and have your own ability to break down and analyze the situation. So if it's not necessarily the drill, it doesn't mean it's not going to work. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you for watching the videos, but I do apologize that there's been a lack of diversity. There's not much things to do. Still at the uh, stay at home order. Obviously we're still shut down, but the good news is that it's looking like we'll start to reopen the economy next week as they say i'm not too sure but just continuing to do what we can give you guys some content on solo training of course that's a big one because i know a lot of you guys don't have partners or you don't have gyms right now but hopefully yours is opening soon and you guys can keep going with both and use it as motivation to kind of take a new turn in martial arts for the better again if you guys want to use the same setup as me you guys can buy the action flex the scream of sticks from century martial arts you guys can use the Kali 10 discount code for a little bit of saving. And if you guys want the Blaze Pods, you can follow the link below as well to get 15% off your purchase. 
And whether you guys have it for your own gym, for yourself, for you and your training partner, it's definitely something that's pretty universal. And I, again, I can't stress enough how much it's been able to help me with my solo training in this short amount of time. And I can't imagine how much further I could take it. Go ahead and treat yourself, follow the links below and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let me know what else you guys wanna learn, what else I can show you guys solo training, uh, what I can show you partner training. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. I know a lot of you aren't. Let's continue to grow this channel. Let's continue to spread that martial arts goodness. So if you are and you've missed a few videos, notification bell, don't lose me in the algorithms or something like that. And as always, wherever you guys are, make sure you guys are staying safe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys then.